Hi there, in this video we're going to be looking at the Visual Studio Code Live Share plugin which allows you and one or more people to collaborate on the same project. So right now we have a Flutter project open that simply allows us to have a container with a height and width of 200 and a color of teal. We've decided though that we're stuck and we don't know how to get rid of this height and width so we're going to pull in somebody else to give us a hand with this project. So this starts off by looking at the extension store and we see VS Live Share. We want to install this inside of our Visual Studio codes and the great thing is, is actually you can use Visual Studio with this plugin too. So you don't need to use VS codes and you can also collaborate with people in a different IDE. So we've already installed this. The next thing you'd like to do is then sign in at the bottom of the screen inside of the status bar. So if we look at the status bar here inside of VS Code, we can see that it says Paul. Yours should say sign in at this point, either sign in with your Microsoft account or GitHub, and then you'll be able to collaborate with other people. So after signing in, let's hit share, and this will give us a URL which we can share with other people, and they'll be able to join our project. As you can see, the invite link has been copied to the clipboard, so now I'm going to send this to somebody else. So I've now invited somebody else to the project. And the great thing about this is that it takes all of the context of your IDE across to that other person's machine. So the files that we have open, open up on their machine, and also the context of the debugger opens up. Obviously, you need to have a similar environment, so you can't open up the iOS SDK on Windows as an example. But hopefully Katie will be able to delete the height, width and margin elements from our container. As you can see, any selection from the other person appears on our screen and we can see it instantly as it's deleted. If Katie was then to save the file, you'll see that we also get the file saved on our machine. It's not simply then local to that other person. So, now that we've got rid of the height, width, and margin, if we update our Flutter application using Hot Reload, we can see the changes and effects here on our emulator. So if this was a real problem, and I was stuck, and I wanted a review from a collaborator, I could easily now invite them using VS Code. I'm a big fan of this feature, and I think that it's going to be really popular when it comes out of preview and is 100% stable. Let me know what you think inside of the comment section below. Will you use this in your work environment? If you'd like to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Oh, this new crazy mother.